everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to build a DC motor. We're going to build our DC motor um, using a AA battery, a little stack of circular neodymium magnets there. We're going to use some uh, copper wire that we're going to wrap around two objects. One's going to be kind of rectangular and then the other is going to be square. But before I build it, I just want to explain how it works. So like all DC electric motors, including the one we've already built, which is a homopolar motor, this motor is going to work uh, by taking advantage of the interac interaction between magnetism caused by electricity flowing in a wire and permanent magnetism in these magnets. Now the first question is how we're going to get magnetism to flow through a wire. What we're going to do is we're going to take our battery, we're going to... Place it at the bottom, this being plus, that being minus. We're going to get two wires carrying up north. They're going to have like these hooks. And on these wires is going to be suspended a coil. So this coil is going to carry a current. So let's just draw it and you know it's going to be coiled up many 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 times like that in fact I should use this red pen because it's better and the flow of the current is going to go like that that and then eventually leaving out through there going from plus to minus and just like I have here, on this battery I'm going to place a stack of magnets. And I'm going to color them blue. We're going to have north at the top, south at the bottom, and it's going to be dark, dark. Now, the key point um, that we're going to look at is what happens right at this moment. So this this magnet is going to have a magnetic field going from north to south using these kind of toroidal lines. And I guess it'll look something like this. Now these arrows are all pointing up. And what happens when this magnetic field hits the magnetic field generated around this wire? Now, this wire is going to have its field generated using the right-hand rule. And what happens in this interaction is given by another hand rule, the left-hand rule, where um, if you take your left hand and you have this finger indicating the direction of the current, this is finger indicating the direction of the um, magnetic field, your thumb is going to give you where the direction of the wire is going to go. So using this left hand rule, we're going to find out that the bottom of this wire is going to go up, like out of this page, like towards you, towards the camera. And because you can inverse it this way, you're going to find that this section of the wire goes down and this section of the wire goes up. And what does that do? That spins the coil. So the only trouble is, is that when this coil turns upside down, you're going to have the current flowing in the opposite direction. And what would happen is if, if this current was always on, um, you would have this coil kind of swing forward and backward. So what we want to do is use some of this sandpaper and sand down only one side of the wire of this coil so that this scenario keeps happening again and then the effect is that this coil is constantly being turned in one direction and we're gonna have a motor that works so um, yeah let's get to it so first off um, I'm gonna try building these coils at first with a 0.5 millimeter laminated wire and I'm gonna grab about two meters of it and I'm going to wrap it in a coil that's wrapped around this and um, that's going to be our first part. So here's my wire 
Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start turning. I'm going to leave one end loose, and that end is going to basically be this. And try to spin the rest of it around this square. Okay, so here's our coil. And we haven't sanded down the sides yet. But if I just put it here, I can see that I can just about rotate it. Which means that it should be close to ready. And um, we'll use it when we build everything else. Now our next problem comes. We are going to need to take this battery and have two wires coming out. Um, right here, completing the circuit. And also something to prevent this battery from rolling. Now to prevent the battery from rolling, it's quite easy. You just take anything kind of flat and sturdy and you tape it to the bottom. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to worry about these uh, wires that need to connect to the coil and keep the coil up. So the best thing to use, in my mind, is paper clips, and you can use all kinds of sizes. I'm actually going to try to build it using these 50 millimeter paper clips. Um, and what I'm going to do with them is this. Wait and see. So first thing, you pull them out, so they come out into a, a letter S shaped, like my name. Like that. Make sure they're relatively straight. And after you've done that, you grab a piece, you grab yourself some pliers, and right at that, where the S ends, you see that point right there? That's where you turn them back. And just curl them down so. Bang. So, here we have our bent wire leads, and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to attach them in an even way, and this is not easy. Um, in fact, maybe at the end of this tutorial I'll show you a couple of alternatives to it, but we're going to try to attach them in a straight way to the sides here with this tape. So, perhaps in the beginning, I'm going to grab single ends of tape. Okay, there we go, they're pretty straight, and now we're going to wrap it up seven, eight times. So our stand is ready. Maybe small adjustments, and all we need to do is take our coil and strip small bits of um, one side of this wire in the end. So just one side. Okay. Now be very careful with your magnet stack because your wires are attracted to the magnet and they may bend inwards a little. And I don't know if it's the right height, but we can certainly give this a shot. There we go. It's 
spinning very, very quickly. That is your DC motor. It's quite stable. I can pick it up, put it down. Fantastic. Your turn to build. 